Today, friends, I have got a SnapFit QR code, and I'm giving it away free. So let's get cracking. So if you copy and tinker this, you will have an exact copy. I recommend that you grab this design and do Control D, and then just Shift Nudge to move it over to the other side so that you can tear it apart and play with it. So first things first, this is text that I brought in from Canva as an SVG. I'll show you that real quick. This is a QR code I got from Lightburn. You can get it from anywhere that you can make QR codes. There are many online choices. And then I have added Spin Me and Scan Me to this block. Notice this is upside down. That way, every time it spins, it comes up the right way for people to read it. You'll notice this block is transparent. That shows the gap where this block locks in. If you want to make these more sturdy, of course, you've got the ability to adjust all of that. It's super simple. You can ungroup it and check out how all of it was made. Right here, I have entered Canva. This is just a simple note. I added a text box, and you can see I put the words in here. When you make these words, one cool thing is you can adjust the line spacing. So that way you can squeeze them together or further apart, depending on what you want. There are also tons of fonts. Notice when you click here, you've got all sorts of choices. Now, I like to take a screenshot of this. I've got a shortcut that lets me pop it up, grab that text, and then it opens in Snagit. I can super quickly do File, Export, and after a couple clicks, I can export it to my Screenshots folder. With that screenshot taken, I'm going to visit Pick SVG. This is my favorite free tool for converting an image to an SVG file. For this type of project, I'm going to choose the internal and I'm going to simply download the SVG. You could give it a name. I'm going to just put it in my downloads folder and save it. Now we can quickly bounce back to Tinkercad, choose import, choose a file. Once again, I saved that to my downloads folder and Bing, we can choose art. And then I know this is about 35 across, so I'm going to change this width to 35 and press enter and choose import. After a moment, our text appears and you can shrink and adjust to make this look exactly the way you want. Of course, to put it on top of that shape, you can hit C for cruising, grab the handle and cruise it right on top. And then I did set mine to a height of 0.5 and press enter. Of course, right now, I am going to delete that, but at least now you know how I bring in the text, and I use that exact same trick to bring in the QR code. I am printing these with my Bamboo Labs printer. Let me show you how that works. I'm just going to select these top words because they get printed in the second color, and we're going to choose Export That STL. I always saved my 3D modeling folder. This is going to be V10C of the words. I did do quite a bit of guess and check before I got this to work the way I wanted. And then I'm going to hide those so it's easier to just select the rest of the items. Notice this text will be white instead of black, but it makes it so the project prints more quickly. Select the bottom pieces, export, once again, select it only, STL. And this time it's going to be 10C of the clip and save. Now, of course, we can zip over to Bamboo Lab Studio. We're going to simply click on Add, and we're going to grab those two items together, click Open, and tell them, yes, single object, multiple parts. Everything lines up perfect. Now we can simply move over here to Object Mode, and we want the base clip to stay white. I'm going to make the words black. That's number four on my printer. That lines it up perfectly, but I'm going to make this print faster by disabling the prime tower. All we do is go back to global, others, and bingo. This helps my print be a little bit faster, and I found that the quality is absolutely awesome. And here we are at the top of Mount Pisgah. Those are the counting rings and the QR codes in here. You can see how they are fun to spin and also give cool information. And that wraps up our quick clip project for the day don't forget friends it's a free file if you do choose to copy and tinker don't forget the golden rule of tinkercad give a reaction before you copy and tinker and of course have a glorious day and keep tinkering
Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. Of course, I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you scroll down just a little bit more, you will find my course, Tinkercad in 20 Days. It is hosted on cadclass.org. If you check this video, it explains all about it. And if you check the bottom, you will find a coupon code 25HL Tinkercad. It will get you 25% off any course on the site. Of course, you can visit the site by simply clicking the link. Friends, of course, I do want to remind you about the sweet built-in message tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. I also want to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget to absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.